here comes Captain Kirk. secret for being so funny. Oh, boy, he's gonna tell us his secret. No, he isn't. Well, the most important thing to remember if you want to be funny is washing with Brido soap. I use Brido. What? Storming the castle at daybreak. Wow, daybreak? Maybe I should get up earlier. And always record on Muffel tape. That's how I make my jokes funnier. Wow, that's a great idea. Record my jokes and play them back to make them even funnier. Whoa, Nanny! Did I hear something break? Oh, that was just some lady screaming on TV, Nanny. Oh. Uh, Nanny, can I borrow your little tape recorder? Why, certainly, Fuzzy. It's in the... Great! Paul drawer. Now I can record my funny jokes like Funny Freddy and be funnier and funnier till I'm as funny as Funny Freddy. Okay, how much does a free sample cost? Give up? Three dollars. Get it? Waka, waka, waka. I gotta play this back for someone else. Um, what you doing, Gonzo? Huh? Oh, clean in my imagination. Those cows really messed it up. <laughs> um, would you mind listening to my joke? Ah, uh, sure, Fuzzy. No problem. How much does a free sample cost? Give up? Three dollars. Get it? Waka, waka, waka. Well, what do you think? Problem. Fuzz, my friend. I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh... That good, huh? Not exactly. That joke delivery was, uh, well, uh, definitely third class. Or maybe parcel post. Then again, return to sender might be more accurate. Uh, is that good or bad, Gonzo? It's bad, Fozzy. Oh, gee. How's anyone gonna know when to laugh if I can't even deliver a joke? <laughs> Not to worry, Fozzy old bear. I know just the guy to help you. You do? Gonzo Morris, Hollywood super agent. Hey, Gonzo, this is John Ritter. What did you think of that screenplay I sent you? Oh, it was great, John. I was just gonna shotgun it all over town. Hold on. Gonzo, you're the greatest. <laughs> Gonzo Morris, Hollywood super agent. Hi, Gonzo, it's Whoopi. Whoopi, go for big star. Listen, did I get the role? You betcha, Whoopi. And you got the pastrami, too. I did? 
You know what, Gonzo? I don't care what anybody says. You still make the best deals in town. And the best sandwiches. <laughs> Come in. Uh, my name's Fozzie Bear, and uh, I want to be a stand-up comic, so... Uh... Well, you material. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> Why did the rhinoceros cross the road? <laughs> Whoa, that's a killer. You got great potential, kid. But uh, no buts. I, Gonzo Morris, Hollywood Super Agent, I'm gonna make you a stand-up star. And if you're ever having a party, I also make a delicious sit-down dinner. Now, just sign this little contract and we'll be in business. <laughs> And this one. And this one. That's great. <laughs> and now that I'm your personal agent, I'm gonna see to it that you're booked into the finest clubs. The Yankees, the Dodgers. Huh? Those are baseball clubs. Hey, you gotta start someplace. Come on. Excuse me, I need to borrow this microphone. That's my computer mouse. Sorry, this is Foggy's first comedy date. It is? Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, come on now. Come on, you guys. Cut it out. Quit it, will you? Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Dave Coulier. And I'm Bullwinkle Moose. Thank you. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I am so glad to be here tonight because uh, Bud Friedman and the Improv are proud to present for his first time on stage as a stand-up comic. Please welcome Baby Fuzzy Bear! <laughs> stand-up comic. Whoa! <laughs> oh, me, I'm not too good at the standing up part yet. <laughs> oh. Say, want to hear a couple of great knock-knock jokes? Okay. Knock-knock. Huh? That's my line. Knock-knock. Who's there? Dinosaur. Dinosaur who? Dinosaur feet, and you would be too if you weighed as much as me. But you haven't heard my best ones yet. We don't want to hear any more of your jokes, Fozzie. Quit bothering us. Gosh, I guess my first performance wasn't exactly a hit. Or was it? Foz, I already thought about this. The best way to improve your act is to find out what the audience was thinking while you were on stage. Listen. Boy, he sure can be a pest. Be a pest. Huh? Scooter and Animal really didn't like my jokes. Uh, maybe I should just give up comedy and be an announcer at J-Mart. Attention, J-Mart shoppers. Oh. No way! Your reviews aren't that bad. Listen to this one. Fuzzy Bear is about as funny as a sour lemon. Whoa! That's not very funny, is it? Oh, they're right. I'm no good. Hey, hey, hey! You're not gonna let the critics get you down, are ya? They always miss the great stars. They said these guys were just a bunch of turtles. Really? Maybe you're right. Maybe I shouldn't listen to what other people say. Of course not. But we gotta do something about your jokes. They really stink. Huh? Fuzzy, it's time for your first comedy lesson. It is? Yep. And the best place to learn comedy is UCLA, the University of Comedy and Laughable Antics. Come on. Gee, they really have famous comedians teaching at this school? What was that? Pat, that's your first lesson! Say, I'll meet you in the 
gymnasium with the dumbbells. You know me. I'll have a hat. Gosh, what class is it? Pie throwing 101, of course. Huh? Wow, a Stooges Guide to Pie Throwing by Professors Howard Fine and Howard. It says here, the first thing to learn about pie throwing is you never know where a pie will come from. What? Something tells me these guys know what they're talking about. Oh, a bird fighter. Gee, uh, I didn't mean to hit you, Professor Curly. All I did was flick my wrist like this. Oh, they miss me. No, no, no. Second rule of pie throwing. When a pig gets hit in the face with a pie... Why, you! Doc! <laughs> the third and final rule of pie throwing is... Never stop to read the rules of pie throwing in the middle of a pie fight. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about Piggy. She's got no sense of humor when it comes to stuffing her face. Trust me, Poppy, your next gig is gonna be a big success. Come on. See the frog with the green skin on? He can do the hop all night long. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Hey, hold it. We interrupt this song to bring you a special comedian. Hey, get off of my piano. Cool it, Rolf. Here he is, ladies and gentle Muppets, the greatest comic since Marvel number one, Baby Fuzzy! Wow, Carnegie Hall! <laughs> and look who's here! Gosh, I better be good, huh? Uh, good evening, I'm Fuzzy Bear and you're not! I don't get it. That always used to work for Chevy Chase. I know. Maybe I should try some of my new comedy skills. Oh, my gosh. I didn't mean to hit you, sir. But you know what they say. A pie in the face is worth two in the bush. Waka, waka, waka. Gee, uh, maybe you'd like to hear some elephant jokes. Um, why do elephants have such good memories? Give up? because it's embarrassing when they forget to put on their trunks. Give us a break, will you guys? Yeah, we were listening to Rolf's song. Take your client and buzz off, Mr. Super Agent. See ya. How would you like me to represent you, oh sweet swine of mine? What? You mean, for the movies? Uh-huh. And I only take 10%. 10% of what? Well, I could take 10% of your arm. <laughs> or 10% of your toes. <laughs> business is tough stuff, Gonzo. Maybe I should choose an easier job, like nuclear physics. Hey, what are they saying? Nothing. They're saying absolutely nothing. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. Let me hear. No, no, don't do it, Fuzzy. An artist should never listen to his critics. Boy, talk about nerve. He sure knows how to ruin a fun time. Oh, he's such a nitwit. Oh. I told you not to listen. Gee, they really don't like my jokes. Come to think of it, it sounds like they really don't like me. Muppet Baby. I guess you're my only friend now. Oh, Fuzzy, they still like you. They just hate your jokes. But what about this? I'll prove it to you. I'll just hide the recorder in my pocket and go ask the others what they think about you. Gosh, you'd do that for me? Hey, what are weirdos for? I don't know. 
Exactly. Hey, Scooter, if you had to do a hard arithmetic problem, who would you want to do it with? Fozzy or your dumb old computer? If Piggy gets that mad when Gonzo just mentions my name, well, do they like me? Listen, I take my computer over Fozzie any day. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, uh... Oh, he's so annoying. Sometimes I wish he'd just go live in a tree. Huh? Enough to make a grown dog cry. Ow. Sometimes he makes me want to scream. Oh, no. Not Kermit, too. Sometimes you say a word, Roman, and it flies out into space. And it hurts somebody's feelings, like it hit them in the face. So be careful, words can hurt. Please be careful, words can hurt. <laughs> You'd like to say a nice word, Diddy. but a bad one pushes through. Ugly. And you realize too late just how much damage words can do. Whoa. So be careful, oh, yeah. words can hurt. Oh, wow. Please be gentle. Yeah. So many words on the tip of your tongue. Take a moment and search for the nice. It's partly how you say it, it's partly how it's heard. You can change the world around you with the power of a word. See? So be careful. Words can hurt. Don't listen to them. Your audience just doesn't understand your unique talent. I'm unique, all right. The only comedian in the world who can make a laughing hyena cry. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Fluff. Hey, wait a minute. Did you hear what I just said? Huh? Hey, I made you laugh. Unbelievable, but true. But how'd I do it? You were being yourself. I was? Uh-huh. Oh, I knew that. And you were feeling hurt from what the others said. Yeah, that's it. If you want to be funny, you got to go with the hurt. Say what you feel. Let it breathe. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> Keep breathing. Now listen, Fuzzy. I'll wait for you some great jokes that came up with. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Attention, nursery shoppers! What is it now, Fuzzy? <laughs> oh, did you hear the one about the dumb dog called Rolf? Huh? <laughs> know why he could never be a computer programmer? Cause his bark was bigger than his bite. Uh. Get it? Computer bite. <laughs> 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 What's so funny, Scooter? <laughs> your bark is bigger than your bite. <laughs> hey, they're laughing. What I tell you? Keep going. Boy, he sure can be a pest. Did you hear the one about Scooter? Huh? He's such a nerd that when he went to the football game, he thought a quarterback was what you get when you give a dollar to the peanut man. <laughs> <laughs> Quarterback! That's dumb! <laughs> well, it was an honest mistake. Hey, uh, what's happening? You're getting laughs, kid! That's what! Now tell the one about Kermit! Oh, yeah! Why is Kermit the Frog a terrible singer? Huh? I don't know, Fuzzy! Why is Kermit a terrible singer? Because he's got a throat in his frog. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> hey, that's not very funny. Remember the nursery rhyme about the little piggies? 
Yeah? Well, you know why this little piggy had none? Cause that little piggy ate all the roast beef, everything at the market, and everything at home, too! Ha! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, now that is funny! <laughs> Go ahead, laugh your head off, Bone Brain! Hey, who you calling Bone Brain, Piggly Wiggly? Okay, how about No Brain, then? <laughs> That's better. Would someone mind telling me what this is all about? Well, uh, I was just trying to improve my jokes by recording them. And then Gonzo recorded everybody's reactions to my jokes. And then I played back the tape and, uh, well, listen. Boy, talk about nerve. He sure knows how to ruin a fun time. Oh, he's so annoying. Sometimes I wish he'd just go live in a tree. Hey, wait a minute. I wasn't talking about you, Fozzie. I was talking about Gonzo. So was I. Yeah, Gonzo kept bothering us. And forcing us to listen to Fozzie's jokes. And asking dumb questions. But, Nanny, I was only trying to help Fozzie with his act. You mean I was mad at you for being mad at me, but you weren't mad at me, you were mad at Gonzo? Huh? Yep, for being a jerk. <laughs> Piggy, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything. I know. Gee, I guess we all said some pretty mean stuff, huh? I'm sorry, Kermie. Well, yeah, I I so yeah. Do you mean you still like me? Of course I do. Gosh, you guys are great. Well, I'm glad they learned their lesson. Personally, I didn't do anything wrong. That little blue beach baboon drives me crazy. Gee, I wonder who she's talking about. Ooh. It must be you. Naughty, naughty. Gonzo. Ooh, gotta run. I'm telling you, Fozzie, this will get you the biggest laugh you ever got. You sure, Gonzo? Trust me. Okay, animal, whenever you're ready. Go, Papa. La, 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 la. He said bye-bye, not bye-bye. We'll be right back. and his bizarre buds are coming up next. That's right, an all-new Garfield and Friends. So stay tuned to Kid TV, dudes.